Hello, this is Luxbrush, and here are my quick thoughts on My Little Ponies Friendship is Magic Season 4, Episode 6, Power Ponies. It's interesting how we're introduced to the fact that the Everfree Forest doesn't seem to be as dangerous as it used to be, because we're going back to refurbish the old castle, apparently, magically. And Spike has found himself a comic book that he's really interested in. That's kind of interesting how this world has comic books. That's kind of cool. I guess they're pointing back to the fact that they've released several comics for the My Little Pony series. And this episode itself is also pointing back to the fact that we've had several covers that had the ponies and hero outfits. Oh, hello, Mr. Comic Book Oven. Where did you come from? Of course, we won't find that, find that out until the end of the episode. I find it kind of interesting how we're going with the... Oh, they're transported into the comic book world. I wonder if people are going to say that, oh, they should have done this for the Daring Do episode, considering all the hoopla we got from the fact that Daring Do was real from the Daring Do episode. And so we get the bad guy who's a combination of the Joker and Dr. Octopus. Then we have Rainbow Dash, a.k.a. Storm, Pinkie Pie, a.k.a. Flash, Rarity, a.k.a. Green Lantern, Fluttershy Hulk, or Flutter Hulk, and then we get AJ, who's some type of combination of, I'm guessing, Batman and Wonder Woman. Considering we have, well, I'm not quite sure what to call them. Hoofarangs? Buckarangs? Hoof shurikens? I'm not quite sure. The episode overall felt good to me, especially once I got past the, oh, we're going with that MacGuffin. Yeah. Because that surprisingly bugged me more than the fact that Daring Do was real, which didn't really bug me at all. The animation was nice, they did a good job on the costumes, which must have been a pain to animate. For understand, it took a lot of work to do the gala dresses, because in a flash you have to render out every angle that you're going to be using in the show, so you have to plan out all the shots ahead of time, how to draw and render each dress from the perspective you're going to be using in each shot. So the fact that these ponies had a pretty elaborate costumes throughout the episode probably means this episode took a lot of work and they've probably streamlined the process a little bit considering how much better the animation has been throughout this season so far i say they've probably done a little bit of both to me the episode lesson felt a little tacked on at the end there even though it was there throughout the episode maybe because of the way they clarified it at the end felt a little forced it felt like oh we're just going to summarize the episode for you and then they went on to the explanation of the comic book, which I was okay with, and it was a good pun. Oh, speaking of puns, this episode was puntastic. It just, there were puns everywhere. Which kind of goes for the genre they were going for, which I'm pretty okay with, but was the moment I heard the pun, I was, the moment I started hearing puns, I was like, oh, we're going to have puns throughout this episode, aren't we? Oh, and the moment Fluttershy went Hulk mode, I was laughing a lot. <laughs> It was like, oh my god, look at the expressions on the other ponies of like, thank gosh, just do that in our world. And the kind of cute moment of, oh, I, I, I ripped that up, spit. Sorry. And I knew the moment we were building up to the fact that Fluttershy was going to go into Hulk mode, was this going to be something small, like an animal being heard, or just something along those lines. It was going to make Fluttershy angry. Overall, it was a good episode. The animation was stellar especially with all the costumes they had to animate. They did a good job with the hair on the villain. The only thing I um, didn't like was the point at the end where it felt like they were kind of overemphasizing the friendship point at the end. Other than that, I enjoyed it. Thank you for listening, and I hope to speak with you soon.